In this episode of GTV, we will be discussing American Indian Heritage Month, some unknown holidays, the Day of the Dead, a Thanksgiving skit, Veterans Day, and some Black Friday shopping tips. GTV, GTV starts, starts right, right now. now. Hey Grizzlies, welcome back to another episode of GTV. I'm Addison Schmidt. And I'm Joshua Fountain. PBIS reminder, be respectful in the hallways and always follow adult directions. Make sure to use kind words, you never know who's listening. Let's go to Annabelle to learn about American Indian Heritage Month. Oh hey Grizzlies, welcome here. In case you didn't know, November is actually American Indian Heritage Month. Let's go learn about it. November is the time to celebrate and recognize the many Native Americans. On August 3rd, 1990, George H.W. Bush declared November Native American Heritage Month. Some Native American cultures are the Northeast, Southeast, Plains, Southwest, and many others. Some ways to celebrate this month are going to a Native American Heritage Museum, decolonizing your Thanksgiving dinner, reading the work of a Native American author, or you could research about Native Americans. Some fun facts about Native Americans is the word barbecue comes from an Arawakan Indian language. And the word Iowa is the name of a Native American tribe, meaning sleepy one. Thanks for learning stuff about Native American History Month with me. Hopefully you learned something new today. Signing off from GTV, I'm Lila Fosick, now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Annabelle. Remember, Grizzlies, your safety is our number one priority. So make sure to wear your mask correctly so that it covers both your nose and mouth. Now that's all taken care of, let's go to Izzy to learn about some unknown holidays. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Izzy Venegas, and in this episode of GTV, we'll be looking at some unknown holidays. Let's go. One unknown holiday is Common Sense Day, November 4th. Clean your refrigerator on November 13th, National Clean Your Fridge Day. November 20th is National Adoption Day. If you ever want to have a bad day, November 19th is National Have a Bad Day Day. Hey, you gotta be louder. National Kindness Day is November 15th. November 23rd is National Expresso Day. November 16th is National Fast Food Day. Thick Grizzlies, I hope you to celebrate those unknown holidays. Signing off for GTV, I'm Izzy Venegas, now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Izzy. Suzuko Junior performances are November 4th, 5th, and 6th. Tickets for students are $5 and $10 for adults. Don't miss out on seeing this awesome show. Now let's go talk to Tondo to learn about Day of the Dead. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Tondo Sequit, and today we're going to be talking about Diablos Martos or Day of the Dead. What is the purpose of Day of the Dead? Day of the Dead is a celebration in honor of the deceased and welcome to the spirit's home. People remember their loved ones in spirits in a joyous celebration of life and death. They do this by creating altars, tending grave sites, and taking part in festivals and parades. What countries celebrate Day of the Dead? The Day of the Dead, Diablos Martos in Spanish, is a holiday celebrated mainly in Mexico and by people of Mexican heritage and others living in the United States and Canada. What activities go with Day of the Dead? Play music, listen to live mariachi music, or play your loved one's favorite songs or recordings. Enjoy the music and celebrate the life of the deceased. Some people even have parades through the graveyard and play music and dance and celebrate while visiting the gravestones of all their loved ones. This year for Day of the Dead, Diversity Club participated in an activity where they watched an informational video and then they each colored a skull or skeleton to celebrate the spirit of their lost loved ones. And then we pushed that same information out to PKMS for everyone to do as a class meeting. Did you celebrate Day of the Dead? Uh, yeah, for the Day of the Dead, me and my mom, we made an ofrenda for like our grandparents my grandpa and my uncle who passed away and we just like uh we made a table like memorizing like things that they used to like 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 foods and like flowers and different stuff like that uh i support it all the way because one i'm mexican and it's celebrating like dead people and like just the whole day around them so yeah i support that 
That was Diablos Martos or Day of the Dead. Now signing off for GTV, I'm Tondo Sikwi and back to you in the studio. Thanks, Tondo. Attention all PKMS students. We are starting a new club called Grizzly Fit. It will start Tuesday, November 2nd. Make sure you check it out. Now let's go to Cameron to see a Thanksgiving skit. Good evening, Grizzly TV. I'm Cameron Mullins, and tonight we'll be showing you a live Thanksgiving dinner gone wrong. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Thank you all for coming tonight to our Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, we know you guys really don't like each other, but it means a lot to us that you guys are all coming together for this lovely day. We're so thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's eat. Do you think this Thanksgiving is going to go well? No, not at all. Well, I think the marriage probably will bring everyone more together and more feel like a family. So, I mean, I think it's going to go well. Yeah. Do you guys like Abby's family? No, no not that much. Do you guys like Jackson's family? No. No. We do not like them. I hate them. What do you call a running turkey? What? Fast food. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Thanksgiving soup so expensive? Why? Because it has 24 carrots. <laughs> Who taught you how to make jokes, son? I did. And what about it? Guys, calm down. Just. We all love each other here, okay? No, we don't. Uh, <laughs> 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 I bought it for her. It's interesting. <laughs> you just insult my son's money? Let's get out of here. Yeah. Like I said, Thanksgiving went wrong. Now signing off for GTV. Now signing off from GTV, I'm Cameron Mullins and back to you in the studio. Thank you. Where'd you get that? Um, I bought it. It was for our wedding. It's interesting. Did you just assault my son's money? Assault? <laughs> Thanks, Cameron. Attention Grizzlies, walking club has been postponed due to cold weather. Don't worry though, it will start back up in the spring when the weather is nice. Let's go to Reagan to learn some more about Veterans Day. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Reagan Reapy and today we're going to be learning about Veterans Day. Let's go. Uh, they were in the Iraq War. Uh, they were in the Vietnam War. World War II. Um, the Vietnam War. Uh, Vietnam. The Army. They were in the U.S. Army. The army. The army. They were in the army. They're in the Navy SEALs. Air Force. My great uncle. Grandfather. They are my father. They are my great great grandpa. My father, my mother, and my aunt. My grandpa. My grandpa. That's all, Grizzlies. Now signing out from GTV, I'm Regan Reapy and back to you in the studio. Thanks, Regan. We appreciate everything our veterans do and have done for our country. Up next, we have Sam here to discuss some Black Friday shopping tips. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Sam Chapin, and in today's episode we'll be talking about Black Friday and places to shop on. Let's go! Forever 21 has sales going on right now. Don't miss out on buying some new cozy outfits for this winter season. They have women's clothes and men's clothing. Go and check it out. Black Friday is a term for the Friday following Thanksgiving Day in the United States. Amazon has early Black Friday deals. You can get watches, clothes, and technology things. Don't miss out. Most every store offers Black Friday sales like Best Buy, Walmart, Adidas, Target, and Kohl's. Oh, I haven't been chasing pages. Bath and Body Works has sales going on right now. Get all of your fall and winter scented candles, body wash, and much more. Head over to their website to check it out. Many stores offer highly promoted sales on Black Friday and open very early or sometimes on Thanksgiving Day. Wow, Grizzlies, those are some great deals. Signing off with GTV, my name is Sam Chapin. I'm back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sam. Now it's time for us to announce our student of the week. Our student of the week is... 
Ryan, Ryan McCollum. McCollum. He was nominated by Mrs. Richardson for being responsible and respectful at all times. He also goes out of his way to be kind to all students here at PKMS. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's all for us here in the studio. Now signing off from GTV, I'm Addison Schmidt. And I'm Joshua Fountain. And remember, Grizzlies, you, you belong, belong here. here.